<laughs> oh, that's a weird. <coughs> Sorry. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Nate from Good Mayhem Racing. This is the Forerunner that we are going to race the Baja 1000 in. I have replaced the dry brake setup with something new, primarily because of the street legal nature of this vehicle and um, some of the features that we are going to be doing. We are planning to wrap the truck or at least wrap a section of it for our sponsors and the dry brake was in the way. We also wanted to upgrade the dry brake so then I could have a removable cap for the street legal nature of this vehicle and that's a lot more approachable for uh, just general drivability of the truck too. It is a Geyser Brothers uh, dry brake with a removable head. The actual nozzle, the $230 item is uh, welded to the truck it is permanent and the whole thing is is like super flush to the body like it's not allowed to stick out very far so the cowling that we are actually mounting the advertisements on the quarter panel cover we are making that out of a new material now rather than all of it being steel so then we can see through it and then the people that are filling the car up for racing can actually see the necks, the actual tubes, so then they know when to stop. A sending unit, I find it to be very useful. Um, the other race car guys that have more experience than I do, they don't trust sending units all that well, so they prefer to have the pit crew to be able to see what's going on inside the filler neck rather than just reading a sending unit. So this is the compromise for that. The quarter panel is going to be a plexiglass and it's going to be vinyl wrapped black and we're going to have cutouts so then people can look through it and see inside the truck and make sure we are getting enough fuel but not too much. I am Nate from Good Mayhem Racing. I will see you out in the desert if not my garage. We have uh, about a month for Baja. Less than 30 days but who's counting? See ya.